So of late, I don't know the feud between Brahimo and Burner Boy because he's been mentioning Burner Boy in a negative way wherever he goes to. And sometimes, like, it's very heartbreaking to see a striving industry, you know, an industry striving to get to the apex, and uh, all of a sudden, you see, you know, musicians within the same industry fighting each other like it's really crazy and at the moment like i've been telling you you always nigeria has now become the center of attention of african music so like i really get uh disappointed whenever i see fellow nigerians you know fighting each other on unnecessary things but we will dive into that but before then it's another beautiful brand new day brand new night depending on wherever you are watching me from my name is jimmy ruff kindly subscribe to this channel like comment and always stay connected fun time bro yeah so um this morning i saw uh bloggers a whole lot of bloggers posting this thing about uh, brimo yeah before then i've been watching interviews where brimo is always you know trying to you know denigrate the image of Brenner Boy. Sometimes he even say Brenner Boy doesn't deserve the Grammys. Brenner Boy has done this. Brenner Boy has done that. Brenner Boy has done a whole lot. And today he has said a whole lot. Like today he has said something crazy that I felt like nah like it doesn't really really hold waters for me. Like Charlie I don't really I because yeah you according to him Brenner Boy has stolen his song called Macabre, yeah? I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting the words uh the pronunciation correct here yeah? uh macabre i think is a yoruba word yeah and according to him brenner boy city boys and you know the album title the i told them i told you album is uh was stolen from that particular song he actually made a hook yeah it was actually the hook for that macabre and now what i don't seem to get is how can someone steal a song that has not been released like i'm still wondering <clears throat> a song that has not been released and i don't think after you know you composing or after you after finishing all the recordings and all those kind of stuff you even sent the song to burner boy i don't believe that because he didn't state that part i still don't get it and yeah he said like it's actually a track on his upcoming album though so i'm still wondering how can someone steal a song that um that has not been released and even if that's true i don't see the reason he should come out with this like i don't see reason why you should actually come out with this or maybe he has reached out to the maybe he has reached out to the i mean the the, the management of Brenner boy and maybe they chose to ignore him maybe that's why he has come out to you know put out this claims which of course even though i'm still wondering if the, like it's kind of you know confusing i don't really really believe in what he was saying and he also made another complaint that uh he got attacked some time ago and he has according to him he thinks Brenner boy and uh davido are rep responsible because after his attack Brenner boy released a song called big seven and you know he was attacked by a group of seven <laughs> he was attacked by a group of seven and Bre uh, the video also released a video where people were wearing seven seven yeah in the video so he believed the ad popular musician Oluwale Braimo has come out to strongly accuse Bernard Boy for stealing his song according to the musician he claimed he had an unreleased song Macabre which he believes was spoon fed to the african giant for its newest release city boys and i told you the musician also claimed he was attacked by seven boys which two face confirmed the numbers bramo said since bernard boy has a track named big seven and he has seen the video's video with people wearing seven both are together regarding the attack and have caused him so they must regret their actions this trend of artists calling themselves out is now rampant as just recently blackface also called out ashake and olamide for stealing his song Bramo called Bernard boy's theft of his song a crime something which he strongly believed Bernard boy must face legal consequences for so this is what Bramo wrote on social media by end of this year y'all will collect that macabre wasn't released when in the public and as privately as it gets city boys and i told you were fed to Bernard boy form of the track titles i mentioned above is there to point me to the fact that the later and his album titles is the hook 
I think on my album title track Macabre, Burner Boy and a Really Boy, and that's a crime, an intellectual crime to do time for. And if Una like, make Una resurrect legends to come complain about stolen songs. Una go regret this ish to numerous degrees. She Una the hear word. Oh my God. like how like how like how bro like how do you, can you even hear yourself bro can you even hear yourself hopefully like for some time now we all know things are not well between the video and Bel Brenner boy yeah of late we all know things are not going on but well between uh the video and Brenner boy so how can these two come together you know collaborate to you know attack you man i'm still wondering like i'm still wondering both claims um doesn't hold waters for me like i you know brimo is actually a very talented musician with no doubt he actually one of my best i th he has the song with uh manifest from ghana uh manifest uh oh girl you got a key no no when you fall you then it's on me goodbye yeah i think yeah the track was goodbye and it was on the album of um manifest uh nowhere cool and like uh, after then i love most of his songs i like brimo are uh, from the days of arame and he has this song with uh arame uh only cool yeah it was actually i got to like uh brimo true only cool song i think yeah that was with uh ice prince zamani and so man is really really talented yeah but of late i don't know why he's trying to you know fool some kind of beef between you know he and uh burner boy and I, I still don't know or is it because maybe he because he's about to release this album he's trying to very hard to you know uh attract attention maybe he's trying how to attract attention for his album promo and you know with this kind of attention i think it's not it normally happens in ghana so if he is actually doing this for attention i'll be very very surprised because in ghana when someone is about to release a song that's when they decide to you know create news they they, they decide to create fake news yeah they take advantage of fake news to you know release their projects and you know nigeria like for some time now i don't see nigerians to be that kind of people yeah i don't see nigerians to be that kind of people but like with this kind of uh beef i don't really support them like even if Brenner Boy, like, sampled your song. I think Brenner Boy is uh, intelligent enough, or Brenner Boy is from an intelligent record label that would have reached out to you. Like, they know they know more. For all, like, Charlie, Brenner Boy is a Grammy Award winner, yeah? Br Brenner Boy sampled, I mean, this song. I mean, uh, he sampled uh, Tony Bastons, uh, I've forgotten the title. I mean, Last Last. He sampled, it was a sampled song. Until then, we've never heard Tony Bastin coming out to, you know, attack Burner Boy. I mean, uh, he sampled the current, uh, I mean, sitting on top of the world. Brandy's sitting on top of the world. Until then, Charlie, I stand to be corrected, though. We've never heard I, uh, Brandy coming out to, you know, lay some claims or charges on Burner Boy for stealing his songs. Yeah, he's been doing this. So why a fellow countryman? Why a fellow countryman? Is it like, are you trying to, you know, denigrate or are you trying to, you know, downgrade his effort? Like, Charlie, how, bro? How? Yeah, so like, that's what's going on uh, between uh, Burner Boy and uh, Brimo. Charlie, Brimo making claims everywhere. Brimo is attacking Burner Boy everywhere. But Charlie, I think uh, men is trying hard to, you know, Create attention, bro. He's trying hard to create attention. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. My name is Jimmy Rafa. I'll be back with more fun time, bro.